Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for watching our VCU Graphic Design Preview Day little video that we have. Um, I, my name is Colleen. Uh, this is Rachel. This is Trinity. Usually we would be leading groups um, around Pollock for your preview day um, extravaganza or your tours or anything that you would be uh, uh, putting in the, the day to go around VCU and uh, see Pollock and see the campus. Unfortunately, since uh, COVID has kind of messed up everyone's schedule and completely shut down VCU campus. You're unable to do that. Um, but we really wanted to give the upcoming freshmen a, a taste or, or, or a, a chance to still have their questions answered and still talk about the, the questions that we hear all the time um, on our tours. So I'm gonna quick go around and let everyone introduce themselves. And um, why don't we start with Trinity? So say your name, hometown and then describe your practice a little bit. Okay, um, hi everyone, my name is Trinity Choice. Um, I'm a senior, I will be graduating in May. Um, hometown, my parents currently live in Yorktown, Virginia. And as far as like graphic design practice, um, I really like um, kind of modern graphic design styles, um, like playing with illustrations whenever I kind of use um, graphic design um love like really sans serif kind of types um and i try to like use like a lot of uh, mediums like when i work so that's a little bit about me perfect rachel um so i'm rachel asnero um i grew up in reston virginia up in northern virginia um and throughout my time in graphic design, I found my practice kind of like tend towards like printmaking and like more analog mediums like um, like letterpress and etching uh, and like book binding, book arts, that kind of thing. But also just like with graphic design focusing on like medium mixed with typography and like different ways to like make the medium the message. Um, and yeah, I think we're just gonna talk a little bit about um, like what our time at VCU has like meant to us, like what Richmond is like. Um, and yeah, just a bit about the program, the professors and why we love it. <laughs> and I'm Colleen Connolly. Um, I am from Pennsylvania. I'm back home in Pennsylvania now. Um, but I love being in Richmond for uh, my four years there. My practice um, started out in a very different place, but kind of ended up in experience design, which is the design of places or um, the user experience within those places, for example, the wayfinding or signage systems. Um, and I really felt, found myself drifting towards museum spaces. Um, I had a bunch of internships and uh, I worked at the ICA at VCU, which is the Institute for Contemporary Art. Highly recommend you check that out if you ever get to campus. Um, and I'm just really interested in uh, exhibition design, experience design uh, in those specific places. And that's what I'm currently doing my uh, senior project on. But we don't have to talk about that because I don't want to think about that anymore. I've been thinking about that all week. Um, yeah, so the three of us are seniors. Uh, hopefully we don't seem too tired and too old and <laughs> too, <laughs> too much to be uh, unrelatable. But we do have a couple of good things to say. So we were, I was going to open it up first, um, talking about your first year at VCU. So I'm sure you've heard by now, um, anyone who is looking to get a BFA at, uh, in VCU Arts needs to go through their AFO year, which is the Art Foundation year. And it's basically an entire year of um, drawing, sculpture, time-based medium, which is like uh, sound art, maybe video art, performance, uh, performance yes all kinds of things um, that you get to experience and kind of open up your, <laughs> your, your time here. Um, can, yeah, so can someone start us off with like talking a little about their AFO experience and also maybe how it's might be different for um, the new students? I can start. Um, so you do take uh, two of those classes that Colleen mentioned, which is, um, drawing space which is the more 3d medium surface which is more 2d like painting and illustration and then time which colleen mentioned is like sound um like media performance and like video kind of stuff so like i said you do two a semester so my first semester i took drawing and space um mm -hmm. 
And it's funny because, like, you kind of go into it, like, scared because, like, you think, like, you're not sure if the playing field is going to be, like, level where we're all, like, starting out over again. But then you kind of, like, realize, like, in your space class, there's, like, a couple people who are, like, really good at it. But, like, you don't let that intimidate you because you're, like, oh, well, they're probably going into, like, craft or sculpture. And, like, if that's not what you're going into, like, you don't need, like, the expectation isn't that you're going to be, like, perfect your first year in anything. Like, even, like, when you're applying to VCU, you're not applying to, like, graphic design or comm arts. You're applying to the AFO program, essentially. So it's really just to, like, kind of expose you to different things you might not have thought about, um, which really, like, meant a lot for me because, like, in time, which I took my second semester, I, like, had no idea that I liked, um, like, video art so much um, and just, like, weird, like, experiential stuff. Like, I had, I would have never tried that before that um, class. So I think AFO is, like, really good. It's, it's hard sometimes, like, the, I have spent all-nighters, but, like, <laughs> Even when I was doing it, I was kind of like, this is going to be so cool. Like, it's going to be yeah, worth yeah. it. Um, and I mean, I really like the community of the foundation year because, like, you get to meet so many people. And um, I've made, like, so many of my great friends, like, through AFO um, and in the classes. And, like, you know, when you're spending, like, a lot of time there, like, you do get to, like, know each other. And, like, it makes the the stress of, like, new environment a lot less stressful just because like you're with all these like people um who like you have stuff in common with um so i really enjoyed freshman year um of afo and yeah i made a lot of really good art and i was like really proud of myself coming out of it i was gonna say trinity is that an afo portrait behind you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's um these you have two of them wow <laughs> Those are so good. Thank you. Um, should I go ahead and talk now? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, yeah, so to pick up off, to piggyback off of what Rachel said, um, AFO is like actually like it's a really great time for you as an artist, really just like develop like kind of skills that you didn't even think you had. Um, you get to focus on like even if you think that you want to be in graphic design, um, and you're like dead set on that, it still like allows you to be able to like work with time and like video and photography and then work with sculpture and work with like drawing and charcoal and it's just like gives you like a, a wider range of things to like really focus on, which I really enjoyed. Um, I personally get a little bit bored when I do just one thing over and over again. So I enjoyed it because every um, class was different and every like semester you got to try something new. Um, it is a lot of hard work. Um, like Rachel said, there, there will be like a lot of nights where you might um, stay up either because of procrastination or because like you just really want to get like your all into that project. But mm -hmm. it's definitely worth it. You um, make amazing art um you really push yourself if you really try your hardest and your best um it is a good opportunity to meet people um because like after your first year you are in your um major and then that's it so it's really great to make connections with people who may not want to go into what you want to go into um overall i think it would be it's a great experience my like you may not have classes you like like i hated time um did you but i did <laughs> I really did um but like still i really i learned like stuff that i still use today about like video um editing videos and how to use premiere and stuff like that so you learn so many great skills um it shouldn't be taken for granted you really like use that year to get everything you can out of it yeah and i also want to like point out um the teachers are like really good like they're not just like random people who like were artists like 20 30 years ago like mm -hmm. at vcu and like i'm sure you guys have all heard this but like um at vcu the professors are like also working like they have working practices so they like have knowledge of the industry like currently um which is really cool because like it's not like you're just going into it and like hearing like so many different things it's like you are but like they're all like pretty current up to date like you're getting a lot out of your teachers as much as out of the curriculum like at least all of my teachers have like shared their experiences and like their wisdom um and it's just like a good it is a good foundation year like yeah i came back um my sophomore year and was at first friday which is uh in richmond all of the galleries open uh down on broad street and everyone comes out and like dresses their most most artsy version of themselves <laughs> and uh looks at all the new art and my afo professor 
whose name I can't recall right now, which is embarrassing, but she was really nice, <laughs> um, had, a, had a gallery opening at 1708. And that was really cool. So they really are out here just um, making work. And I, I can't, uh, you know, Rachel and Trinity said it perfectly about how you shouldn't take that year for granted art making wise. The other thing I would really say about AFO is that um, the AFO experience has changed a little bit since we were in AFO. When we were there um, at the end of the year, we had to put in a portfolio of work and apply to our majors um, and then pick first choice, second choice, third choice. That's no longer happening. Um, now the new students get the experience of just um, applying straight to their major and going there their sophomore year. There's no more, um, you know, picking and choosing, um, which I think a lot of, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know for sure, but um, I know that a big part of our AFO experience was going around to each of the majors and being very sure that this is the one, this was my first choice, this was my second choice, this was my third choice. And even though you don't have to do that anymore, I still would highly recommend putting in the, the research and putting in the effort to look very closely at graphic design work look very closely at our professors um talk to david shields the chair of the department he is the nicest guy um talk to any of the students that you can and make sure that you really do want to go into graphic design i hope you do i love gdes um but if you are looking at you know photo film com arts interior design any other places like just like put in the work and um those professors will appreciate and your work will reflect that you um are very focused on like no I did see this graphic design photo project or this like uh, typography project and I thought it was cool and I'm gonna try and have my portfolio from AFO reflect that um, yeah yeah definitely just keep going around also it's cool to see what everyone else is doing and I, I really agree with that because um, my freshman year roommate actually went into VCU planning to do commerce and then took space in AFO and now she does like fiber in craft and like is the most amazing textile artist. Um, and that's like another thing I guess I want to say it's about super AFO common actually. That, like you, like like we're all saying like use AFO like to really make sure like you're gonna do what you want to do because like I don't know I know a lot of people who like stuck to what they were originally gonna do but like maybe minored in something else that they never thought about minoring in or like my roommate in some cases like just like switch directions um mm -hmm. and that's not to say like she can't still use a lot of the things she was doing before but it's like afo is really there to like build a foundation but also like kind of like like assure you and what you want to do that's a really good way of putting it mm -hmm. and then once you guys do get through afo which does happen even it will though happen. You feel, it will happen you'll get through it we promise it all feels like a fever dream now <laughs> to all of us. 